Okay guys, today we're going to take a look at the new phone I got and for the first time in a long time I decided to actually not get another iPhone and instead I went with the Samsung Galaxy S4 as I'm sure you can see right there. Now the first thing you'll notice on the box is that this looks kind of like wood. Obviously it's not, it's just cardboard and paper. But there's this little sleeve here, you just kind of slide the box out of it and this is a paper sleeve. And then inside you've got this box which has the same um, kind of wood design and once again it's just cardboard let's just look around the box real quick you know you open it by pulling the front off nothing in here and in this case this is the AT&T version so there's a little quick start guide for AT&T and the phone itself and what this goes over, um, I believe, is just basically putting the SIM card in, putting the battery in, that kind of stuff, activating it, you know. Which, I actually bought this in a store where they require you to activate it before you can even take it home. So, it's already activated for me. So, in here, next thing, you pull up this little tab. I did actually use this all day. It is like midnight right now. But I did use this all day today, and then I just put this stuff back on it. So... It's still a fair representation. But you pull that tab up, lift it out of the package. On the front, it's got AT&T's little texting and driving. It can wait because they really want to encourage you to not text when you drive. Because it is a very dangerous habit and you're risking not only your life but other people's lives if you text while you drive. So they put that on there just to remind you not to text while you're driving. Anyways, we peel this off the screen and there's the front of the phone and take this little tab and normally it sticks on here much better but it's already been taken off so the back part peels off too and then when you first get the phone there'll actually be some little tiny protective pieces around the edges now I already peeled mine off but there will be some of the edges right now the phone is super light and that's because there's no battery in it so that's the phone and inside the box, we lift up this little flap right here, lift that part out, and then there's another tab. You put your finger in here, lift this up, and there's a bundle of little booklets. This first one, so I guess this is something that helps you migrate all your data over to the Galaxy S4. And then underneath, there's kind of just like a manual and just tells you how to do some different stuff with the phone, I presume. Neither of which I need because I prefer to just kind of learn on my own or use Google if I really need to figure something out. But these are the information booklets if you need them. And then we'll open this flap back up and start pulling out accessories one by one. So first off over here, we've got the USB charger. Um, it's in another, all this cardboard that they use in the packaging is recycled. So it's in a recycled cardboard sleeve that will just slide off. And unroll this cable. And just based on my height, I'm going to say it's probably like a 5 foot cable-ish. It's not quite 6 feet. But it's a standard USB to micro USB. And it is a normal micro USB, so if you want to get another cable, it's just micro USB. And it is a white cable. I'm not sure if you get the black phone, if you get a black cable with it or not. But I'm probably going to order some different cables. Because I just don't like the way white cables get really dirty really quick. But nonetheless, here's your charging cable. Um, over here, just lift up and pull out the corresponding charging brick. It's marked Samsung right there. You've got your wall jack, of course that's going to be dependent on where you live and where you buy the phone. That will be for your country. Um, it is wrapped in some plastic to keep it from getting scratched. Not that it really matters because it's a charger. But we're just going to peel off all this plastic. I'm sure I'm peeling it off like the backwards way and it's making it more difficult or something, but oh well. And then around the side here is the USB port. Um, I haven't actually read about it, but I assume that this charges with a standard one amp of power, which is what, you know, iPhones and stuff charge with, and most cell phones that charge through USB. But you just plug this into the side here, plug this into the wall, and it's your charger. You can also plug it into a computer if you want. It will charge slower, 
unless of course your computer supports fast charging, then you'll be all right. Third thing in the package, we lift this up. I'll probably just leave these in here because I'm never going to use them. But you get some Samsung headphones. They do actually have a flat wire, which is kind of nice. Um, it's got a tip ring ring sleeve connector, so it's got a little four connector um, plug. Um, stereo headphones. It's got a controller down here, which I assume you can probably control. Yep, volume up and down, and probably like to answer calls, and they can probably use that to skip music and stuff as well. So nice little pair of headphones. They probably don't sound fantastic, but they're included with the phones. So what do you expect? You also get a bunch of replacement ear cups or little ear pads, whatever's. So you can get a customized fit to your ears. I'm not going to use those, so we'll leave those in there. And then last in the box down here, you need this to operate your phone, and that's a battery. It is a 2600 milliamp hour battery, which I've read gives this phone pretty good battery life. I mean, I haven't even used it for a full day, so I'm not sure. But it's supposed to give it good battery life. So we'll peel this open, and it's time to put the battery in the phone now. So you put your nail in here and just pull back. What for me is actually really difficult because I don't have much of any nails, but that actually works for me. And then you just kind of pull this apart and uh, separate it. So I'm going to cover this up just because I don't know what kind of information is behind there, but apparently it's bad to show. And here is where you insert your SIM card. Um, I assume if you're on Verizon, it just doesn't have this at all, or you just don't need it. And then that's where you put in a micro SD card. It supports up to micro SD XC. It can do a 64 gig card in there, plus a 16, uh, 16 gigs internal to give you a good amount of storage to put video and apps and stuff on. But anyways, you just put the battery right in here, match up the connectors up here with the connectors on the battery, and push that in. And then we'll just snap the back back onto the phone. And you just push all around. And it does sound kind of plasticky, but when you have a phone that is actually capable of removing the back, you're going to have to make compromises. So we press the power button, and I'm turning it on here and we'll wash the boot up but like I said when you have a phone that has a removable back it's going to have some uh, compromises with the rigidity of the phone but it is still fine I think I have the phone muted so you didn't hear any boot up noises but you can still watch the boot up animation and I have mine set up so it takes me straight to my home page so yeah we'll just lock this up again um, one quick look around the phone um, the reason I went with this one is partially just because it's the newest, greatest phone out. Um, also because it's a 5-inch screen and I got sick of the tiny phone, or the tiny screens on the iPhones, so I went with this instead. And it is a 1080p screen which will make media playback awesome. So I can watch my own videos back on here if for any reason I need to. Or I can just watch YouTube on here. And among other things, just using the internet in general, it's going to be a much better experience than using an iPhone. So overall that's why I decided to get this phone. If you enjoyed the video please click the like button and leave me a comment letting me know what you thought. If you want to see more of my videos please click subscribe right down here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.